Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom here, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I haven't did the Pearl of Dance for a while. People have been writing about it, so here you go. Pearl of Dance for you. All right. I like to do that sometimes. You want to learn how to do it? You can go to Perlo's House of Spanking, and uh, that's a great place to go to when you really need one. And in the back, you'll find uh, we do uh, Perlo dance lessons there, right beside Chinky's House of uh, Pilates and Yoga, right beside there. Ask for Poon, or and tell them Perlo sent you. I get free stuff when you do that. Okay, we're gonna look. I'm gonna, we're going to look, we're doing a series for with Eichel traded to every team. Today we're going to look at the Colorado Avalanche and the Boston Bruins to see. Because I've got so many letters. I got a letter from uh, Levi Milkwin from uh, Los Angeles, California, asking, uh, you know, I don't know why he's asking about the Boston Bruins. Oh, he's just right. He did mention all the whole bunch of stuff about L.A. wouldn't trade this, that, that, and the other thing. And we went through that. But he said, what about the Boston Bruins? And uh, thank you for your letters. We love your letters. Um, I got lots of letters about the Boston Bruins. So we'll look at the Boston Bruins and Eichel uh, in a second. But we're also going to look at our great commenters down there in the comment section before you head out there. So why don't we go do that while you hit the subscribe and the bell and help out the channel and you get, it'll come up on your thing. Like, Oh, there's another Perlo video. Jeez. Yeah. Right there. So do that. Okay. You know, you wanna, um, okay. Marcus hunt first. Hey, Perlo, love this series. Well, thank you very much, sir. I'm glad you love this series. Can't wait for Vegas' turn. That's going to be a bit. Uh, Thomas V. Many would love that trade. If you want to know what that trade is, go to the one that we just did. We did Minnesota. And you can see uh, Benino and Johansson are coming off the books this summer. Uh, Fiala and Kaprizov would happily sign long extensions. I think you're likely right there. If Eichel happened but it's risky for the Sabres. We still don't know what Rossi is at this level. Erickson could be having a career year right now. If you're looking at prospects, you got to look at, you just got to take prospects then and trust the scouts. Uh, from what everything I've heard about Rossi and what I've seen about Rossi, he's going to be a beast centerman. How much of a beast centerman? I think he's going to be a number one centerman. He's just freaking unbelievably, I know he's on the small side, but he doesn't play at all on the small side. And he's super fast. He's gritty. He has awesome, uh, he's an awesome competitor. I love the guy. And uh, Eric Sinek, to me, I've been talking about him for like three years. I say that in the video. I love him. Now, that wasn't the only thing that was part of the package. There was probably Dumba, uh, O'Rourke. Great prospect in the Minnesota system. A couple first-round picks. There was a big package of players there. for, uh, And that was assuming that, as he mentioned here, that Kaprizov was not part of the deal and Fiala was not part of the deal. If you put Fiala in, it would change things up. Go check it out. But thank you for your comments. Um, I just wanted to mention that. That, that Rossi, because he mentioned Rossi, we don't know what he is. Well, I mean, you never know. Did never take a prospect then, because you never know what any prospect is. But there is a high percentage, a very high percentage, that Rossi is going to be very, very good. Uh, Harry Crump. See, this is the kind of stuff I find interesting with the, with the uh, comments that we have here and why I love the comments so much. The Flyers aren't trading coots. He's a better two-way player than he's a better two-way player than Eichel. Sorry to hurt your feelings. Well, the numbers don't plan that out. Uh, Eichel has progressively gotten better defensively, and I would even say the fact that he was even close to good defensively before this, with how much he had to do defensively for that team, is impressive in itself. But now. He is one of the better defensive centers in the league. In fact, getting to the point of being absolutely elite. So 
I'm not so sure he's better defensively. Um, and he's certainly better offensively. As I mentioned here, yeah, nope analytically. Impos- and I said, it's, he said, sorry to hurt your feelings. I said, impossible to hurt. I don't know why I put the S in there. Thanks for the contribution. It is. You can say whatever you want down there. You can call me whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't bother me a bit. I like the banter. And if you want to get if you want to get into it, we'll get into it. I'm okay with that. I'm a big boy. I can live with it. Uh, fly Hockey News Reports, awesome. God goes on my show from 3 to 5 Eastern. I do a show called the NHL Pearls of Wisdom Show on this channel. You might want to check it out. Hockey News Reports is on there all the time. He said, Flyers trade Konechny, Farabee, Patrick, and a second-round pick. I think he's very high on Farabee here, and I am too, but I don't think that's going to do it. Patrick doesn't move the meter at all right now. Um, he, he's, he's just has to show something first before he can be part of a deal like this. It would definitely be a center, and there's no conditions. There would be, He says conditions when you're talking about a – player like Eichel, forget about the conditions. It's going to be a first and that's it. Either you want him or you don't. Pretty much. Um, go check out what Gavin, I've talked a lot about what Gavin says uh, here all the time. He's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, we'll look at it now anyways. Uh, basically, he says, I will see this deal differently than you. The reason it being is with Kaprizov off the table, a package of Rossi, Bodie, Kakinen, Greenway and Rask. I actually don't mind that deal at all. I but I loathe the idea of giving up Greenway. Greenway was part of the package I was on because I was doing it from the Sabers perspective. I want Greenway. I love Greenway. I think he's a freaking going to be an incredible power forward, awesome power forward in the league. If you can get Rossi, Greenway, Bodie's got one heck of a shot, and Kakinen gives you a good platoon with uh, Allmark, uh, and then throw in Rass to make it work financially uh, with the, the cap and stuff like that. It did make sense. So tell me what you think about that if you're a Minnesota fan out there. But those are sort of the uh, I, what we're doing there in the comments section, so go check it out. Okay, let's go look at the Colorado Avalanche here. And the Colorado Avalanche to me would definitely have some things it would take to do this. The question is, would they want to do it? I mean, McKinnon and Eichel in your top two. And the, one of the reasons why you can do this is you have is McKinnon is wrapped up until 2023 at six million. That is crazy, insane contract. He should be in the $12 million range. Easy. He's his contract is half of his worth right now. And they have the cap space to do this, and they can include players to make the cap space work. Uh, I think that they, they could actually do this without trading rent in it. They could throw Burakoski out there, who's got a, just a killer shot. His overall game has never really been wonderful, but, I mean, he can score a lot well, very well. He's making $5 million until 2022, so a new contract would have to be worked out with him. Um, JT Comper would definitely be part of this deal. I really like JT Comper. Good two-way guy. I don't. His, he, it looks like he's reached his offensive upside, though. It looks like he is more of a second, third tweener center. Um, but that being said, he's still a valuable asset. He still has some upside. He might be a 40- to 50-point player. You could actually trade this whole line. Junas Donskoy is a free agent, though, at, in, what, 2023. You could trade that whole line. <laughs> Burakoski, Comper, Dunskoy. <laughs> Dunskoy had an incredible year this year. What did he score, like 25 goals? Something like that? Uh, best, for sure, a career year. No, he's 17 goals. He was on pace for something like that. 31 points. Uh, in 51 games, he had a really good year. You could trade that whole line, and still, this is what's amazing. You could trade that whole line, and you still got Brandon Saad. You can bring Tyson Jost up there. Or, sorry, you'd have Eichel in the middle here, so you could put Saad up there, re-sign him again. Uh, when is he? Yeah, he's a free agent now. Uh, and they have young players coming up. 
Keeper Sherwood has been playing. He could play in your bottom six. Uh, Kout, I, I don't have him here. He's probably pretty close to ready yet, and he's looking really good. Um, it would thin out their their team quite a bit, and I don't think they would go that direction. But I'm just saying they could probably do it and still get away with it and still have some free agent money to fill out their roster too. But the whole thing that gets your mouth water in here is the McKinnon Eichel one two punch. Holy crap, buddy! That would be insane. But as it stands, Burkowski comp for sure. I think you're going to have to get rid of one of your defensemen that you love, love, love. I think you're going to have to. I'm talking, if I'm there, I'm all over. I'm trying to get Samuel Gerrard. And I know they're hating the idea. Hating it, hating it, hating it. But Samuel Gerrard, JT Comfer, and I know Buffalo doesn't necessarily need defensemen. But when you're getting a Samuel Gerrard, you can work it out somehow. You can trade one of the defensemen, get some more picks or what have you. So it'd be that their first round picks are not all that valuable, but they're still first round picks. They could give up two first round picks. Um, and uh, oh, Bo and Byram, maybe. See, that's the thing. They could even give keep keep uh, Gerard and give Bo and Byram. I would be very happy with Bo and Byram in that trade as well. He is fantastic defenseman. He's only 19 years old and he's crushing it already. And they don't really they can get away they got Connor Timmons and uh, they probably have other defensemen coming up because they have surprise defensemen coming up all the time so you could focus around Bowen Byram JT Comfer Jonas Donskoy or Burakoski one of the two first round picks excuse me and uh, you could even throw in a couple prospects like BC level prospects just to uh, boost it up a little more it wouldn't really hurt them all that. Jean-Luc Foodie or something like that. Uh, so much depth on this team, and that would be a cray-cray move. So tell me what you would think. I mean, Colorado could just say, you know what, we're good. We got our superstar. We have uh, – oh, and that, right, that, I forgot. That's not even including Codre. JT Comper is not even supposed to be there. That's Codre. They could, you know, uh, depending on what how they feel about keeping Codre – they could try to put Kadri in the deal. I'm not sure I'd be interested. Uh, Five million dollars a year for a Kadri that looks like he's declining. I want JT Comper, and they could still keep Kadri though and play him in the as a second line center. So, wow, so much depth on that team. So many options that they have. Something I want to look at it. I'll pass this out to uh, Colorado Avalanche fans out there. Actually, I think my Facebook group Colorado Avalanche. Uh, is uh, is not allowing me to do that sort of thing. So I won't be able to do that. But tell me what you think if you're a Colorado Avalanche fan. What do you think about that? All right, Boston Bruins. This would be, first of all, let's get this out of the way right away. Everybody's going to say it's very unlikely because it's within the division. And I have to agree with you. It's going to be very difficult to do this deal. Uh, being in the division, I think Boston would have to give up a lot a little more, and I don't know if Boston has what it takes here. I think without a doubt, the only way this deal gets done is if Charlie McAvoy is in the picture. And I, as much as I don't think Charlie McAvoy is as good a defenseman as Eichel is a forward, although it's close, it could be close, he's still got upside, he's only 23 years old, he's starting to put up points on the board, I, I, I think they only do it if it's a straight across, and even then I don't know. Because he's just too important to their defense. Um, sometimes value to the team is more important than whether a player is better than the other player. And uh, the value to McAvoy uh, to this team is uh, too enormous. You take him out, and this defense is just not not good enough. So I doubt very much that they're going to be able to be in on it. Uh, without McAvoy in there, I mean, Krejci's going to be a free agent, and he's too old. It would have to be like DeBrusque, Coyle, and basically all your prospects. Saxon Ishin, Jack Studnicka, uh, 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 Arhu Vakaninen, uh, 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 Zaboral. Just basically rip your whole – you might – 
I mean, you might get away with it if you throw Swayman. Swayman looks like such a beast, but I don't really think Boston is a huge option option here. If you're a Boston fan, let me know what you think. If you're really interested, throw a package together. Tell me what you think. I think we can do one really quick one here again, uh, to, just to add another layer to this video. What are we at? Yeah, 15 minutes. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more, a bonus. We're going to do... We're going to do Pittsburgh Penguins. I know this is sounding crazy. The Pittsburgh Penguins, really? The Pittsburgh Penguins? How could they possibly do it? Very good question. Uh, the only way I think that... Uh, but I would bring it up because I get letters about it because Pittsburgh Penguins, first of all, don't want to do a full rebuild. Second of all, I mean, never want to. Ever, ever, ever. I don't know. I think you got to figure eventually it's going to happen. Um, but I'm, I'm more or less talking about why they couldn't happen because I get a lot of letters for it. Um, the people bring up Evgeny Malkin. He's got a couple more years left on his contract. First of all, Malkin's got a no-movement clause, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, he's got a no-movement clause. I doubt he's going to go to Buffalo. Second of all, he's too old. Why? If I'm going to make a deal like this, as we've looked at the other teams, uh, Chris Letang is brought up in this deal. Um, again, way too old. It's going to take pretty much every prospect they have, and they don't have any prospects. So I just wanted to show, like, try to put something together here. Jake Gunsel absolutely would be part of the deal. Jake Gunsel would be part of the deal. Now, you could put, you could talk to Crosby and say, hey, if we get Eichel, would you be willing to play wing with them or something like that? Um, maybe put Melkin on the wing and you got Eichel and you got one of the best top sixes out there. But it's going to be Gunsel. Uh, maybe Demelin, uh, Marcus Peterson, uh, seriously, like you're not going to have a team left, um, or prospects, Juso Rucola, if anybody sees any value in that, Anthony Angelo, I mean, what was that defenseman that they were playing in the regular season for a long time? Oh, Pierre, Pierre Oliver Joseph. Like everything you have and first round draft picks for days, and I still don't think you get it. So Pittsburgh fans, I think you're probably out. Out of this one, Colorado would probably be the most likely of the bunch. Tell me what you think about Colorado and uh, if they would ever have a chance. Um, if, tell me if you think Pittsburgh or Boston may have a chance. Maybe there's some players that I haven't really thought about. Tell me what you think about Eichel, period. Do you think he's worth it? Do you think he's overrated? Do you think he's a complainer like a lot of other people have said? Uh, I'd be interested to hear your take. That's my full 42, boys and girls. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow, maybe, when, probably, when we're doing other teams in Eichel Traded to Everyone. Okay, bye.